when the time of the hijrah comes, she's Muslim. She can't leave. Her husband's not Muslim. Her Islam is a secret. And even Abdullah ibn Abbas, he said, my mother and I were from those who were oppressed in Mecca that couldn't leave. But she was given a task by the Prophet to protect everyone else that was stuck in Mecca that also couldn't leave. And she did this with loyalty for years. MashaAllah, we talked about the people that went to Abyssinia. They were the people of the two Hijrah. Lubaba was stuck in Mecca, in the center of it all, watching them raise an army against the Prophet During the Battle of Badr, her, her husband, Abbas, was actually forced into the battle. And she's watching him go to join an army to fight the, the Prophet Like, imagine what she is going through as she's witnessing this. SubhanAllah, the Muslims, we know the Muslims won in Badr. The Meccans had never imagined that. They were undefeated. It is the day where, where, where truth has become evident, subhanAllah, in the Battle of Badr. So the Battle of Badr happens. The disbelievers are running back to Mecca. And there's one, only one leader of Mecca that didn't leave with them. He was a coward, and his name is Abu Lahab. So he's the only leader of Mecca that didn't go. The Muslims win such a resounding victory that now there are people that are just running, trickling back into Mecca. It's not a celebratory army that's coming back with a parade or anything. Like, people are just running back into Mecca. So they run back into Mecca, and everyone's saying, we lost, we lost. Quraysh is like, wait, what? What are you talking about? More and more people kept coming in until finally a man came in, and, and Abu Lahab held him. He's like, tell me what happened. And he started describing the battle to him. He told him there were these men that were wearing all white. They were on horses that were between the heavens and the earth. And he said they would strike someone and, and the wound wouldn't be red, it would be green. And subhanAllah, there was, a, there was a, um, a mawla, an enslaved man that was living in her house, who was also Muslim. And his Islam was a secret. He started, he couldn't contain himself. He's like, the angels, the angels. Abu Lahab was furious. Took this man, he started to beat him. Like, even the narration said he was literally on top of him, hitting him. And I want you to picture this, because who has power in that moment? Abu Lahab does. Who has the clout and the authority in that moment? Abu Lahab does. In America, we all know this. If you see an officer standing over a man, beating him, who has the power in that moment? How terrifying is it to stand up to that person who clearly has no problem using all of their power and all of their authority to physically harm someone? Lubaba picked up one of the poles of the tent, which I can't even imagine, like for the adrenaline that she must be going through her body and the physical strength that she had, she went and she whacked Abu Lahab on the head. That was the only way to get him off. You know when someone's crazed and won't let go? She knew it and she whacked him. And she told Abu Lahab, you think because Al-Abbas is not here that you can do this to a member of our household? I want you to also understand in that position, she's also a member of Al-Abbas's household. Clearly Abu Lahab had no problem beating anyone in the house of Al-Abbas. And she took that stand anyway. It's one thing when it's, subhanAllah, because now we watch all these videos. You, unfortunately, there's some horrendous videos that you witness. And there are other wi videos where you see another cop that stood up to a, a cop and said, hey, we're not doing this. This was another person that stood up and said, I'm just as vulnerable as him as I'm going to stand up for him anyway. Within seven days, Abu Lahab had passed away. Not from that hit, but actually from an infection that he got from it. So even though Lubaba was not part of the Battle of Badr, the remaining leader of Mecca that was fighting the Prophet she's actually the one that got him.